Hello everyone, welcome and we have a new circuit here. This is store amplifier six by a power Galaxy Tab 2. It's a tablet. Let us now uh, use this analogy cable using a tablet and one speaker. Let us now test the tablet and the previous project let us connect the tablet to the previous amplifier hit the music Okay, how about connecting the tablet to our new amplifier? Let us connect the tablet to the input of the new amplifier. And now, let us uh, see the circuit diagram of this previous project and the new project. This is our previous project. These are the drawbacks. The biasing of the transistor. The transistor is uh, has a value which is very big, 150 kilo ohms, and then not enough current to flow into the speaker. That is where the current flows into the load resistor. Seems there is a mismatch with the load resistor, 1 kilo ohms here, 4 to 8 ohms. It's a mismatch. So, I decided to create another circuit. This is now the new project. These are the modification of the new project. We got a new speaker location or connection that is located the positive 
to the positive supply and negative to the collector side of the transistor. We are not using now this coupling capacitor and the load resistor is now being removed because the speaker now is located in between the voltage supply and the collector of the transistor. And because of that, we get a new value of base resistor which we're going to compute later on. Why is it 1.5 kilo ohms? Because of the new connection of the speaker in the circuit. We also have this voltage stabilizer. A C2 470 microfarad to minimize humming in the amplifier. Also, we have this new value of coupling capacitor. We have 1 microfarad. We also have this potentiometer. That is the volume control, which has a value of 10 kilo ohms. Let's go back to our uh, new project. We are using uh, D882. This is a power transistor and to be connected into the output stage of the amplifier. This transistor is an NPN type. The NPN region, the collector side is the positive side of the battery is connected and it is its reverse bias, positive to negative. And the base side should be forward bias, positive to positive. We need a base current to flow the current into the emitter. So this type of transistor, it has a capacity or capability of handling 3 ampere into the collector. If this is the our transistor. That is the flow of the current. 3 ampere. And this is a class A type of amplifier. It is always on with or without signal. That is class A amplifier. And this type of amplifier is common emitter. The emitter is grounded. The current flows into the base to the emitter. The current flows from the collector to the emitter. So the emitter is common. Therefore, this is called common emitter amplifier. And then we have this speaker. 4 to 8 ohms, 100 watts. I'm using Targa and high pi mid range, middle range with a frequency response of 517 hertz to 10 kilohertz. RB1, which is called a bias resistor, sometimes called base resistor. Let us now see the current flows at this bias resistor. Why is it called bias resistor? Because current flows into the into the base making this transistor to forward bias to turn on this transistor that's why they call it a fixed bias configuration because the resistor is connected between the voltage supply and the base of the transistor let us now see if there's if this is on there should be a collector current. Why is it that the current stops into this node? Let us uh, check if the speaker is safe to connect between uh, this transistor and the voltage supply. We have the speaker 48 ohms or 100 watts and the voltage supply of 12 volts. Using ohms law to check whether the speaker is safe to use. We need to compute for the current of the speaker, which is uh, equal to voltage supply divided by the internal resistance of the speaker. By substitution, 12 volts divided by 8 ohms. That is now the current that flows into the speaker, 1.5 ampere. Let us check the power of the speaker using power formula. Okay, voltage times current. 
voltage supply times the current that flows 1.5 ampere we got now the power of the speaker we got 18 watts power of the speaker okay, the calculated power and our speaker is 100 watts so it's safe to use this speaker the current now will flow into the collector to the speaker and wait the current stops here this transistor why let us check the transistor in the transistor current will flow 1.5 ampere is it safe to use this type of transistor let us see the transistor but this transistor is capable of handling 3 ampere so it's safe to use so current now will flow into the transistor to the ground and that current that flows in the speaker is also called the collector current 1.5 ampere and we call that a DC offset that is now the collector current let us now connect the voltage supply for 70 microfarad and this is the voltage stabilizer and what the voltage stabilizer is it prevents or reduces humming in this circuit we also have this R1 which is the current limiter of the power LED D1 that is the power LED we need this power LED to know if the circuit is on and we have 10k volume control the potentiometer we have the input voltage using a tablet with a coupling capacitor of 1 microfarad C1 positive connected to the potentiometer negative to the amplifier and then this is the volume control pin out let us now see the actual operation a DC analysis uh, all capacitor must be open or disconnected in the circuit using a DC analysis and the current flows into the power LED LED turns on because the current flows into the power LED since we know that we got now a Kirchhoff's voltage law the sum of all voltages in a closed loop is equal to zero across the BCC minus the voltage of R1 and D1 is equal to zero solving for the voltage drop at R1 substitution we know the BCC 12 volts 2 volts voltage drop at D1 why is it 2 volts that is given in the data sheet of the LED to turn on the LED we need 2 volts given in the data sheet because we are designing an LED we need the 2 volts that is the forward voltage of the LED to turn on so we got now the voltage drop at the LED and the computed value for the voltage drop at the R1 is 10 volts that is the voltage drop across the R1 the current forward current of the LED to turn on is 20 milliampere also given in the data sheet of the LED so it means the current that flows in the LED is 20 milliampere but since R1 RD1 is equal to 20 milliampere why? because the current in series is equal using Ohm's law solving for the resistor value substitution 10 volts 20 milliampere we get now to convert the milliampere to ampere 0.02 ampere to have a, a, a unit of uh, ohms we get now 500 ohms and I'm using 1 kilo ohms we get now the first value of the resistor 1 kilo ohms which is one, an old notation for 1 kilo ohm current also flow into the input side of the transistor transistor now is in forward bias and we're going to use again the Kirchhoff's voltage law using KBL at the input 
BCC voltage of RB1 and then base to emitter of the transistor. Solving for the voltage drop at RB1. We get now by substitution 12 volts minus 0 0.7 volts. Where did we get that 0 0.7 volts? From the uh, data sheet of the transistor. Therefore, we have the voltage drop at the transistor. And the computed voltage drop at the RB1 is 11.3 volts. We are now going to solve for the value of the base resistor to prevent the transistor from burning or to bias this transistor using current gain formula HIP is IC over IB where I'm going to use 160 for the value of HIP of the transistor that is given in the data sheet of the transistor to collector current computed already 1.5 ampere uh, using the HFA formula IC over IB we get now the case of uh, base current that is the current that flows into the RB1 IRB1 substitution transposition IRB1 IC over HFP. by substitution we know the value of the IC 1.5 ampere that is the, the computed value that flows into the speaker and then the value of HAP 160. We get now the current at the RB1 of 0 0.009375 ampere. That is now the value of the current that flows into the RB1. Using Ohm's law, since we know the voltage and current, we are now going to solve the value of RB1. Ohm's law. RB1 now is voltage over current using Ohm's law by substitution we know that 11.3 and the value of the current seeing the equation we got now RB1 is 1205 ohms so we got now the value of RB1 now I'm using 1.5 kilo ohms my available resistor so we got now 1.5 kilo ohms or this is an old notation for the resistor value 1.5 we have now this transistor amplifier schematic diagram the header for the voltage supply auxiliary power voltage input tablet also have auxiliary input the other header header with amplifier or without amplifier Now the PCB layer for the voltage supply, input and output. And this is our design. Okay. Thank you for watching the video.